Yo players, this is Apex. Today I'm gonna go into uh, the brute force opening in pickup game. If you're familiar with pickup game, dating game, sex game, relation game, then, um, well, in my opinion, uh, you need a great opening definitely in the pickup game because uh, you're opening the game. You're requesting, you know, you are filing the request, so there's a lot of rules to that. And we're gonna go into brute force opening. Personally, I prefer this opening, to be honest. I have used it numerous times, so I'm really experienced with uh, brute force openings. I can do different openings, and definitely you will find more movies about that on my channel. But whatever opening you might pick, it needs practice and foreknowledge. Um, when it comes to practice, well, I would suggest you try to hit on girls as much as you can when you have the time or approach people. Social engagement is really important. Keep working that social muscle. And when it comes to foreknowledge, you should just check out my channel. There are uh, numerous movies that you, uh, well, that will help you get more um, knowledge about women, situations, relationships, so you can make better decisions. And, uh, well, that's important, whatever opening you will, uh, will take. Um, let's go. I wish you all the best. And uh, let's make it a great, great game. Actually, the brute force opening is a way to be solid. If you want to be solid on the long term, like you want to be sure you get a relationship, you want to be sure you are not going to get rejected, you want to be sure that you want to be sure about everything, then the brute force opening is uh, definitely what you need to get the success, to get the goals you want to achieve. But as all openings, they uh, we know. Uh, brute force needs preparation. That's the point with brute force. It takes a lot of pre pre preparation. You need to do as much research as you can about the girl, her whereabouts, her hobbies, friends, whatever, um, without uh, her getting like any idea you're trying to pick on her. So you have to keep that really separate before you open the game. Really important with brute force is that you actually with most openings is that you are coming with surprise uh, you are using the element of surprise she doesn't know you have a crush on her or you like her and suddenly you start playing the opening and you're gonna work to success so yeah so the brute force opening preparing it i already told you guys is that you don't want in preparation time she knowing anything about you take time seriously i mean it's a it's a, it's a moment like the girl is not gonna stay single forever you have to be done with the research in a couple of weeks in a month don't let it take too long depending of course about the foreknowledge because you need foreknowledge like where can i find the girl is she coming to a specific place where i can catch her at what time is she what kind of hobbies does she have is she on on the internet on facebook on instagram and that means that don't befriend the girl don't let her know that you are tracking her so you start tracking getting details getting information preparing the brute force uh, approach uh, it's a one-time approach the point with brute force is that once you once you start hitting it you need to keep proceeding don't come back like you do a brute force opening and then you think like, oh, I'm going to stop. And a week later, you're trying again. So that's the point with brute force. Once you open up, you have to achieve that first goal, which you have set when you place the opening. So when we've done uh, our preparation, we can start, um, well, open up uh, the brute force game with that specific girl. So now comes the point you have to be ready each time. So let's say the girl, you meet her, you, you've seen her in the gym and she comes on Tuesday, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. So you be ready there, right? So you have laid out a plan. Your plan is like, I'm outside. Whenever she's gonna pass by, I'm gonna open with brute force. You have done all your additional work. You might even already know her name. You know uh, how long she stays, you know, it's kind of scary, but you know, you know, you just make sure you know more about her then she knows about it. So you're going to open up. And the, the, the good thing with brute force is that actually you don't have to worry about how you, you bring the message, right? So some so, so in a lot of openings, you have to worry about your conversation style. Are you a funny guy? How are you dressed? I mean, this all, but in brute force, it's not that important because with brute force, it's, it's mainly about knowledge and being persistent. You want to achieve that short-term goal because you have planned already the exit on the conversation. You want to go to a specific restaurant because they have awesome Greek food 
and you know she likes Greek food, so you know with the information you will come up, it probably is gonna be a match. And then it's time to do the opening, right? So the girl comes in, and you're like, "Hi, how are you doing?" And um, well, you you look great. I don't know. I just want to talk to you, but one, you just make sure you're gonna stick. Let's for example that the girl said, "Oh, it was nice meeting you," and she just woke up. And then you you gotta stick. So now it's the brute force technique. You're gonna stick. You're gonna say, "Wait, wait, wait. Um, give me five seconds." Even if you would beg. It just comes up, so that's the brute force. Whatever comes up in your mind, you're gonna put it on the table, right? Without using violence, but you're gonna put it on the table like begging or whatever, because you want to say something. You already programmed yourself. I'm gonna, t I want to propose to her like uh, this Greek restaurant, and we just have to eat there. But you have to find a way to get there, and that is the imp that is the part where you don't have to be picky. You can make mistakes at this time. The only point is you just hang on, like a dog who you know bites a person. Just hang on, and at certain points you're like, okay, okay, we will go there. So you just be persistent. So she walks in, uh, and you go one more time, and please, um, you know, I I'm not really looking for a relationship, but. Um, whatever, you know, I'm just uh, insecure, whatever. So and she's like, oh, don't worry, whatever. And like, oh, no. and you're like, okay, so uh, forgive me. You're sweating, whatever. And like, and then like, I just want to tell you, I thought maybe you would like to, I mean, there's this Greek thing and I don't know, maybe it doesn't really matter. See what I mean? And then she's like, what do you mean Greek thing? You're like this restaurant. And she's like, oh yeah, I like Greek food. And, oh yeah. And you will notice at some point that will help you out. Because what they will appreciate is you are target driven. So you know what you, you're not planning to waste her time. So that's the element of brute force. It's not like she sees you are persistent. You had a goal, you had a great angle and whatever is that, is that just who you are? Right. And women appreciate guys who are focused. They have a specific target and the aim you have is great. So she's like, okay, I could like that. You know, I could go with that. And then. If that comes along, you should just be relaxed. Just just try to accept it. Like, okay, well, just don't force the date. Like, oh, we're going to set a schedule and right now on the phone. She already, you have to trust woman. That's what brute force. So, oh, I think not only brute force in general. When woman, like, in a conversation, agree to something and, you know, you feel like, okay, don't, don't push it too far, right? So they, she said, like, oh, that would be nice and give her a break. Yeah, you have you have achieved your goal. You've you've told her what you want to do, and now it's actually up to her. So that's the brute force. You know, you cannot force her into saying again, "Yes, I want to." That's this type of girl. You don't. You want it on a paper. You know, you're not in a restaurant yet. Just you have to now give it a break. Like, oh yeah, and try to motivate the idea. That's it. She's just gonna go into transition into how great it would be. And yeah, I love to eat Greek. And you just go into the topic. Make it a big thing, and on its own pace, the date will come. So now I've told you about this opening, how we opened it, and actually, I just want to rephrase how we executed it and what is really important to, to remember. So like I already told you guys, foreknowledge is key. You do your research on uh, hobbies, age, times, whereabouts, just everything to plan your attempt, when, how, how late, and, and, and it doesn't really matter what you're going to say, but you, you know what you're going to aim for, and that could be this dinner uh, in a Greek restaurant. You need to know on the midterm goal, long term goal, what you're trying to achieve. So the first goal was a tool to get there, and now you want to know like what kind of relationship am I aiming for? Be, be, be serious about this. Am I looking for a long term relationship? Midterm, am I looking for just sex? Am I looking for just friends with benefits? Am I looking for a relationship where I'm going to have kids? Am I looking for a relationship where we you know, gonna have fun and travel and not thinking about kids, whatever. You just imagine it. It's important that you are imagining it. And why am I saying this? Because a lot of guys get in a relationship and they got, uh, they lose control because they don't know where the relationship is heading into. And then the control is with the girl and obviously you will get locked because the relationship girls want are most of the time not that interesting for guys because it, def it just means that they want more from you than they will invest because that's the relationship will be about. They become, they could even become narcissistic. So I'm just telling you guys, uh, definitely if you want to uh, stay in control of your relationship. If you like this movie, please support, subscribe, and uh, looking forward to making more movies for you guys. Keep the game alive, keep hustling, and I'll see you guys next episode. Take care.